Have you ever wondered where the navigation lights were located on a Yorktown class carrier? Well, fear not, because after years of searching, I have finally located them. I will also cover a few other lights of great importance to maritime navigation that I have also located, but first, here's a brief history of navigation lights and why they're so important. In 1838, the United States passed an act requiring steamboats running at night to carry one or more signal lights with no specific color or location. In 1846, the United Kingdom passed legislation enabling the Lord High Admiral to publish regulations requiring all seagoing steam vessels to carry lights. Then in 1848, it was changed for steam vessels to display red and green side lights as well as a white masthead light. In 1849, the U.S. Congress extended the lights requirement to sailing vessels. Navigation lights, also known as running lights or position lights, is a source of illumination on a ship meant to give information on the ship's position, heading, or status. Ship's navigation lights are color coded and meant to aid other ships by identifying the ship's orientation. The red and green colors are chosen to indicate which vessel has the duty to give way or stand on, obligation to hold course and speed. Therefore, the red light is used on the port side to indicate you must give way, and a green on the starboard side indicates I will give way, you must stand on. Usually, the rightmost of the two vehicles is usually given stand-on status, and then the leftmost must give way, but in the case of two power-driven vessels approaching head-on, both are required to give way. The main navigation lights would be controlled by an electrical box similar to this one found aboard the USS Alabama. This piece of equipment also controlled its own set of lights and was mainly used to communicate certain commands to a ship formation under radio silence using only lights. Navigation lights come in all shapes and sizes. The first ones used oil to burn, then later upgraded to electric. Also, back then, there was no such thing as a colored bulb, so instead the lenses were stained the desired color and used regular white bulbs. In addition to the navigation lights, ships at anchor are required to display one or two anchor lights depending on the ship's length that can be seen from all directions. If two lights are shown, then the forward light is higher than the aft one. In the next set of pictures, I will show the locations of the main navigation lights around the hole and then the ones atop the island. Along with my 3D model Yorktown, I've also included original black and white photographs showing the lights and their exact location on the ship.
thank you so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This is one video I really enjoyed doing and I think was desperately needed. I was so excited to finally find these very important lights on my favorite carrier class and I hope y'all are too. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video and please comment on what you would like to see me do next. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. And if you're interested in learning more about the Yorktown class carriers, feel free to check out my group on Facebook simply titled Yorktown class carriers. Thank you so much.